Test in one, two, one, two, walk one, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking. I go by the name of Chunk. Welcome aboard I-50 Airlines, flight A406 to Northwest London. Gallum, take half your seat belts and come buck me in the cockpit. Got something for you. Man them, stay in your seats. <laughs> See no records. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Airplane mode to ignore them. Yeah, we all bleed, so I don't fear them. I can't talk to the work up in the chairman. Can't fuck with them, got they for Bama. She asked if I got the girl, I said, How many? How many mansions? Too many. You can get left by the Benjamin uh. Mendy. Oh, she wants to fancy, I'm cruising the bed. I ain't these rap niggas, I supply bricks. I got three phones, one's for my side chicks. So you better feel special if I let you in my life all friendly. Yo, the DM that can never be my happened. wife. Welcome uh. back to another video. Today is. The 1st of October and it is just about 12 p.m. in the afternoon so I am in Birmingham as you would have seen at the start of this video I'm over here for the Arnold's for the expo and hopefully hopefully get tickets to the pro show tomorrow still trying to get two tickets here with Oshin Oshin that is familiar enough to the channel you all know him by now Fahis Fitbits and yeah Kem arrived in late enough last night just got to the Airbnb I'll give you a quick little apartment tour now in a second but plan of action I suppose for the day is just head to the Arnold's pay got up this morning did some work took it easy enough rest day today no training for me um, or rushing we'll hit up a gym tomorrow there's a few good good gyms around a few decent gyms so I think I'll be hitting push tomorrow and then pull on Sunday and then probably rest Monday and then I'm going up to Manchester um, to kind of scout that out so I'll bring you along for that as well. Probably do a separate video, so I'll probably keep this to the one video. I keep looking there when I'm supposed to look there. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I'm gonna give you a quick little apartment tour. So now. this is the gap. Straight in. Nice little setup. So bathroom in here, standard enough. I can confirm that is one of the nicest showers I have ever had. Still all steamy. Then this is the bedroom. So this is where I was staying. Nice little matte rug. Kind of like some um, Mediterranean vibes. So nice mirror also for the standard selfies that are mandatory, I suppose. Coming in then. There's nice little kind of like Mediterranean vibe going on in here. The plant and the sun coming in. There are the clothes that I was supposed to wear, but I got absolutely soaked, so they're trying to dry now. Bed, standard enough, big enough size bed. It's actually really close to the floor, which I quite enjoy. It was actually really, really nice. Then over here, have all the um, necessities plugged in as usual. Nice little plant. And there is Birmingham City in all its glory. So, see if we can get a look outside. No, we're locked. Oh no, we pulled. Oh god, no. Too much hassle, too much hassle. Um, but yeah, the city is literally just like two minutes down there. It's where I was for breakfast this morning. Yes, sir. What's happening? Hello. Hello. This is the kitchen area. Very nice and modern. Creatine, obviously. So yeah, pretty basic. Everything you need. Fridge is stacked with nothing. Ocean's doing a bit of work. Yeah, we got so nice little TV. There's a sofa bed that Ocean slept on last night. Tree, as always. PlayStation 1, which is mad. Might have to try and give that a go. That gives some nostalgic feels of Crash Bandicoot. And then, again, another view of West Birmingham. That is pretty much everything. Ocean's going to finish up some work. I'm going to do a tiny bit more and then we're going to go to the Arnold's. So just going to go around the expo today and then tomorrow we'll hopefully get into the pro show. And um, Touch it up everyone. Exactly what he said, yeah. Get, get a taste for it. So yeah, my first time actually going to a proper bodybuilding show. I was at a bodybuilding show in Australia. Like it was an expo slash bodybuilding show and it was pretty shit. So high expectations for this one. Bye. Right, so we are just walking in now. Hopefully they let me bring the camera inside. Can't see why they wouldn't, but who knows. So, um, 
Yeah, we'll go and see what happens. Not too sure if you need to have a COVID test done or not. Hope not. Right, so we have a quick little nutri fast meal. Spuds, mints, spuds. <laughs> Lovely. And then I have another one in there mango and lemon chicken. Oh, yeah. Decent enough so far. Really enjoying it. Um, a lot of people here really hungry, pushing, putting away. Had to get another one. Have to get another one. So yeah, we have two meals here. Also picked myself up some um, bits in the Monster Factory and a gas t-shirt. And now we're going to go in and watch a bit of the bikini. So we are back from the expo. That is day one, done. It was good, decent. Just went around, kind of picked up a few bits, got myself some items of clothing, which I'll show you now in a bit. Um, got some samples, a few protein bars, all the crack that you get at the General Expo. Seen a couple of Instagram people, if you want to call it, which um, is always cool to see them in real life because you know they are just normal people like me and you. And then caught the end of a couple of the women's uh, wellness categories so that was cool um missed the bikini just because we were walking around got some meals as well got a nutri fast meal which you would have seen and i have another one in the fridge for tomorrow um so what we're going to do now is just going to chill out um we are going to go for food in a bit about half an hour i was just working away there a small bit um actually started editing this video so hopefully we'll have it all up within the next day or two once I finish recording and then I'll start a new video as I head up to Manchester so yeah not too sure if I told you the plan yet while I'm in the UK so first of all I'm just here in Birmingham for the Arnolds uh, with Oshin obviously then Oshin is leaving me I'm going to Manchester for a couple of nights and then I'm going down to London for a couple of nights as well um, so I'll create like two or three videos out of the whole thing and yeah that's pretty much everything i'll give you a look at what i got at the expo so got a load of samples and shit which you'll actually see me through while i'm here which is sound got pre-workout which i'll have in the gym tomorrow and i'll give you a look at the items of clothing i got now so the first t-shirt i got is this gasp t-shirt so i actually wanted to pick myself up a gasp t-shirt for a while you can see just the writing down the side and then obviously the big logo on the back, which is their um, their trademark. So I'm actually only wearing a medium. It was either this or an extra, extra large, and I wasn't filling that out, unfortunately. So wearing the medium, which is fine, fits me for now, good for leg day, good for upper body day as well. It's, it's a nice fit, um, but to be honest, hopefully I'll be too big for it in like a couple of months. That's, that's, that's the plan. Operation, eat everything and get too big for all my clothes. That's the route that I'm trying to take. But yeah, this is the first thing I got. Secondly, I got, whew, yeah, so secondly, what I got is this Monster Factory t-shirt. Got this in a size large, pretty big. But again, the plan is to fill it out in the next few months. And the last thing, oh, also on the back, it just has the little, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. My camera skills still aren't the best. So this is good, this is plain, grey and black, you know, pretty standard, um, nothing too loud, but what I got next is loud enough, so I'll give you a look at that. And then lastly, I got this Monster Factory hoodie, which to be honest, is way too big for me. I got it in 2XL, I don't really know why, but as I said, operation, get massive. Soon, 2XL will be too small for me. And to be honest, it's, I like it big anyway. I like them baggy the way it is, like that. It's kind of cool. And you know, it's perfect for just going to the gym, do your shit, don't talk to me. Pretty cool. 
pretty fucking cool if you ask me. So yeah, that's it. Um, plan for the evening now, as I said, is just to chill for the next like half an hour, 45 minutes. Then go get some food, probably get some Nando's. And I'm probably just gonna leave the camera here for now. And um, that's enough recording for today. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. I'll bring you along for the push session that we're gonna do. And maybe bring you to the Ireland's tomorrow as well. I'm not too sure, I might leave it behind. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. What is happening? So, it is the next day. Meal number one is going in, which is three sachets of porridge and a scoop, or not a scoop, a sachet of the USN protein powder we got yesterday in sample. That is roasting when we put it down there. It is 10 13. Probably isn't focusing, but you know. And what we're doing now is we're going to have this meal. We're going to go train at Emporium Gym, put an Uber there, Uber back, and then head out to the expo. Um, hopefully get there early enough. I know the men's physique is on at 3 p.m. and Connor Brown is competing there, so I want to catch that. Um, but hopefully get there beforehand. Seen majority of the expo yesterday, so probably just go to the bodybuilding show today more than anything. Hopefully get tickets to the pro show after. Still looking for tickets. Now we are watching a man like Cuba. Give him a spot number one. Size of his arse. Anyway. Yeah, gonna eat this, um, let it digest, then go train, hopefully be back and um, head to the expo. So yeah, thank you. How are you? Good. You all right? Yeah, oh, I'm back in there. Right, so we're just on the way to Emporium Gym. Going to train push. In the Monster Factory gear. Yeah, full cool. rep Monster Factory. Hopefully fill it out someday.
so we're going to move on to a dip so we're going to make it a bit of a chest focus as much as you could make a dip machine chest focus so we're just going to lean slightly forward rather than keeping it upright so the more forward you lean the more you're going to put it on um, that lower pick so a big um, Kai Green looking after as well as looking also have a seatbelt buckle up it's going to be a bumpy ride People, so we are back in the gas, um, back from Emporium Gym. It is quarter past one. We'll just pause that on the TV. You in two seconds. Quiet, Cuba. Right, so we're back. That was actually a sick push session. Okay, so it's very rare that I get to a, go to a day pass in the gym and actually have a good session. Here's Oshin out of the um, shower. But yeah, that was good. I'm just having my second meal now, which was the meal I got yesterday um, at the expo from NutriFast. It's lemon and herb chicken. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Um, then we're gonna go to the expo. I'm not gonna bring the big camera today. I'm just gonna bring my phone, so I might put in some iPhone footage. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, oh yeah, now actually it's probably a good time to tell you as well. What I'm doing for the moment is I'm just taking time off tracking calories. So I think, you know, every kind of six months or so, it's good to take like 10 days, two weeks off of tracking calories, just eyeball stuff. Not eat like a fucking retard, but still, you know, get your protein in, eyeball your food, eyeball your calories. And just kind of give yourself a break mentally because, you know, all the numbers, tracking stuff, weighing stuff the whole time, it does kind of build up some fatigue. Um, so it is good to take a break. So yeah, I'm going to eat this now. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Discharge letter for patients. Patient's name, Keen O'Brien. NHS number, don't have one. Date, the 2nd of the 10th, 2021, at 5 to 8. Backslaps given by bystander. Choking on pepperoni, resolved on crew arrival, advised to be careful, if symptoms return, call back, advice about sore throats, speak with GP on Monday. Blood pressure, 128 over 70. So yeah, last night, I nearly died. We were out for pizza, out for food, um, after the amateur shows, before the pro show. Eating my pizza, as I do, lovely pizza, pepperoni, um, spicy beef, chicken, mozzarella, onions, peppers, the whole lot, the whole shebang. One slice in, I know, piece of pepperoni in my mouth, couldn't breathe, couldn't swallow, could only breathe through my nose, couldn't, couldn't breathe through my mouth, couldn't swallow anything through my mouth. Went into the bathroom, couldn't get it up, couldn't get it down, had to call the um, first aiders. Uh, which were actually just security guards in the building. Um, about 10 minutes later, nothing. Um, it was actually getting worse. Okay, At the start, I could kind of let water pass through. Um, pretty sore, but by the end of it, I couldn't get anything down my down my mouth, down my throat. Um, trying to continue to breathe through my nose, which is actually fucking very scary when you're told that you could die. Because one of the little first aiders goes, you know people can die from this? I was like, yeah. Thanks for telling me now. Like, obviously, you shouldn't say that to me when I'm struggling to breathe. But nonetheless, ambulance was called. 
I'll put pictures up on the screen now of me with the with the ambulance lady. Thank you, Mrs. NHS. I don't know if she has her name here. No, she's actually a lovely girl. But um, yeah, what happened was just before the ambulance arrived, the um, first aider actually managed to get it up. We were just slapping my back pretty hard and coughing, and it came up and a piece of pepperoni about that size. He managed to bring you up, we cleared the hour. My man, thank you, <laughs> saved my life. Was stuck right over my like larynx or like my, I don't know, air pipe, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, the ironic thing about the whole lot is this is actually not my first time nearly dying from choking. When I was about 12, I choked on a piece of ham on my dinner. You know, like ham and bacon or, or bacon and ham, whatever you want to call it, that you get. Um, at home in Ireland and I was having, I don't like bacon, no sorry. The ironic thing about the whole story is this is actually not my first time nearly dying from choking. This is the second time it's happened. The first time was actually probably a lot worse. I passed out and it was in my home house. Two of my friends were over at my house that were like 13 or 14. I was eating my dinner, started choking on a piece of ham and yeah, and then I, I passed out. Uh, next thing I knew, there was ambulance around the house. Uh, a woman was slapping me on the back, got a small bit up, had to go into Limerick Hospital and have an operation to get the rest of it out of my airway, out of my air pipe. And the woman rang my dad and said it was a hairline away from stopping my uh, air pipe or my, 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 whatever you want to call it, my throat, from blocking my throat completely. So two times I've nearly died, both got to do with me eating my food too fast. And I'm supposed to be a PT, and I'm supposed to be a coach who preaches about chewing your food and digesting your food properly. So I need to start doing it myself. But um, yeah, that was pretty. Um, that was pretty eventful, to say the least. At least I have um, a story to bring home, something to remember the trip by. That focus. And um, yeah, so the first show was decent. Uh, that's actually very, very good. First time witnessing something to that standard, um, you know, in person, and it was next level. It kind of just lights the fire, I suppose, in terms of wanting to compete and stuff. Um, so really, really looking forward to just, I suppose, getting home and putting the head down after this trip and putting plans in place for when I am going to compete. I know it's a long time away yet. It's 2023 I'm probably looking at. But, you know, the work starts. The work started yesterday, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, good stuff. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to leave it there. Um, time is currently 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning, the 3rd of October. I'm going to hopefully have this edited and up either by this evening or tomorrow. I'm getting the train from Birmingham up to Manchester. So I have about an hour and a bit to um, really to get stuck into it. And yeah. Gonna leave it there. Next video you'll see will be me getting the train to Manny. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTuber shit, and I will see you in the next one.